Hi, I'm Mickey Murphy with Blue Benefits Consulting. Let's talk about 401k catch-up contributions. With Secure 2.0, there have been quite a few incentives added, like tax credits for employers designed to encourage employers to add 401k plans to their employee benefit lineup. We know that employees who have access to a workplace retirement plan are something like 12 times more likely to save. The new tax credits in particular are really exciting because there's never been a better time to start a 401k plan due to the cost savings. You can find more details about tax credits in our previous video. However, when regulations are written that save taxes, the legislators need to balance the tax cost to the government because as the consumer saves, the government gets less tax and they aren't spending any less. To accommodate the tax savings in Secure 2.0, we have another new provision effective next year that affects how you and other plan participants may contribute a catch-up contribution within the 401k plan. Beginning January 1st, 2024, for anyone with income $145,000 or greater, catch-up contributions must be made as an after-tax Roth contribution. Sounds simple enough, but as usual, the devil is in the details. Somehow, we'll have to know who will make $145,000 in the current year to apply the regulation. What happens if mid-year raises occur and push someone over the limit and they suddenly have pre-tax catch-up dollars that need to be converted to Roth? This also affects one of the ways we're permitted to make failing 401k testing pass for plans that aren't safe harbor, and that is to reclassify dollars that would have been refunded to catch up if the employee hasn't already used the catch up. We have no idea how we would be able to reclassify pre-tax dollars to Roth to use that previous functionality. In other words, the requirement to make catch-up contributions as Roth may sound simple, but it has complexities that we still need guidance for. It is clear, however, that to prepare for this change, employers will need to evaluate a couple of things. First, does your 401k plan allow for Roth? If your 401k plan was written before Roth was introduced, you may find that your plan doesn't permit Roth contributions. If it does not, catch-up contributions may not be permitted. Therefore, the first thing that must happen is the plan must be amended to permit Roth contributions prior to 1-1-2024. The second thing I might suggest employers may want to consider is that you require all catch-up contributions be made as Roth contributions. This would say reviewing compensation to determine whether employees are under or over the 145,000 mark. Document providers don't currently have this provision built into their software, but it may be possible to make this provision fairly easily and is worth having a discussion with your compliance team. Finally, catch-up contribution limits will increase significantly for those who are age 60 to 63 in 2025. For those near retirement, who can afford to put away more toward retirement, it will be another great savings tool. And as a Roth contribution, the tax on those dollars will be paid up front and then be a tax-free distribution later. Keep those dollars in the 401k for five years and the earnings will be a tax-free withdrawal as well. If you're wondering about your plan design and how you might make changes to prepare for 2024, you may find us at bluebenefitsonline.com we would be happy to help.